Uh, what's up guys, it's uh, Uz here from the DC vs Marvel podcast and uh, this is the first of one of our unboxing videos. Back in the day, uh, I used to do quite a few of these kind of videos where um, I was doing unboxings of um, the DC graphic novel collection. Um, I've kind of completed that collection as much as it's coming out in the UK, uh, but now there is a new collection there which is uh, called uh, DC Comics The Legend of Batman. Um, and I have collected quite a few of these, um, but this is the first time that I've decided to do a, um, a kind of like video there uh, showcasing uh, what's actually inside the books and stuff like that uh, in a similar format to what I did there before. So if you guys want to see um, some of the other ones there and if I just go over to the side, you can see this is the, the rest of the collection here. Um, Unlike the DC Graphic Novel Collection, which is the one above it, um, basically what they've done in this collection there is they've kind of made it in non-chronological order. So um, it it kind of forces it forces you pretty much to order every single one. Otherwise, you're not going to get the uh, the pictures there in order. So if you guys want to see um, me do some more of those videos, then leave your comments there down below. So uh, we have uh, three books here. Uh, we have No Man's Land Part uh, 2 and No Man's Land Part 3 um, and also the special edition which is uh, Bruce Wayne a Fugitive Volume 1 uh, and we'll be going through those. So we've got No Man's Land Part um, Part 2, Part 1 obviously we received in the, in the last kind of shipment there, uh, Bane and Batman and uh, basically what it's saying is uh, the second phase of No Man's Land uh, saw the first pale glimmer of light appear at the end of the tunnel. The story assembly uh, in Batman Legend of the Dark Knight showed Batman gathering his forces and admitting he needed them to help save Gotham. So you got Cassie Kane uh, becoming Batgirl um, and uh, Greg Rucker is the one who basically did this book there. So let's have a look at some of the artwork. Uh, we have this thing at the start of uh, all of these No Man's Land books, which you know kind of like quite a bit, which is basically where Oracle is kind of like um, written down, you know what um, what factions are kind of running each bit, uh, and we see obviously Batman is taking over uh, in Gotham, right? So the art style there is um, is a, a fairly modern art style there, um, and it's quite a quite a nice art style and I, I particularly like the way that they did uh, Cassie Kane is uh, is quite a cool art style as opposed to the one that they've done in uh, in Birds of Prey um, I've already checked these there over it doesn't seem to be any misprints or anything like that there at all um, and it's uh, like I said a very modern art style um, very very similar to um, to some of the some of the new 52 stuff even though this is not new 52 now let's go towards the back here um, on the back we have uh, what's coming up next uh, which is no man's land part three we know that there already uh, but also we always have this little kind of extra extra bit up the back but in this one we don't have that we don't have that there at all it's all just the story of No Man's Land is pretty much a packed No Man's Land and I love it when they really go crazy on these veins to make them like absolutely insane. Uh, now we have No Man's Land Part 2, uh, obviously it's going to have the same uh, kind of style as No Man's Land Part, uh, you know, uh, sorry this is No Man's Land Part 3, it's going to have the same style as No Man's Land Part 2. Let's have a look at what it says here. Uh, Gotham No Man Land status was revoked in February 2000 with Batman Shadow of the Bat. Ended with a funeral, fireworks and a conversation between the Dark Knight and Lex Luthor. Uh, with 85 issues receiving the NML branding, it's comparable to Nightfall in its ambition and, uh, and impact. Right, so... Yeah, we've still got the same kind of style here to order them. Once again, I, I checked all the way through just to make sure that there was no, um, uh, there was no kind of like, um, you know, uh, damage to any of them or anything like that there. Um, we see this very kind of aggressive Bane style, uh, totally roided out. Um, 
It's an interesting story, this one there as well. Uh, if you guys haven't uh, read No Man's Land, definitely go and go and have a look at it. Most of these books nowadays, there you can get kind of, you know, you can get kind of free uh, pretty much online. Um, and, uh, and, and there are various ways of getting it. If you're a collector like myself, then it's sometimes nicer to get the graphic novels. Um, I prefer getting graphic novels to comic books nowadays, uh, just simply because of the fact that I can display them. Um, and uh, comic books are meant for reading, uh, if you ask me. Uh, and I kind of like to uh, to get the books and you know have a good read of them and stuff. So um, we have these. This is the aftermath. This is known as Endgame. This is kind of what came there afterwards. Uh, in no man's land and carry on here and we see the next one is batman incorporated uh batman incorporated is a is a much uh well this is like 2000 this is obviously uh you know much more advanced than that there uh batman incorporated when bruce wayne uh died but actually he'd be going around the world trying to set those up so that is no Man's Land 1 and 2. Let me put those on the shelf and I can show you guys what they look like. So here we have it here now. All the, all the books kind of lined up. And that does look to me like it pretty much completes that Joker arc. Obviously it's a bit slanted because um, all the other books there are not fully aligned. So uh, it's not showing it there properly. But yep, yeah, that is definitely the end of that kind of Joker arc there. I would... I would say it looks like there's one more book after Detective, uh, which is going to be the legs of uh, of Jason Todd. Uh, but otherwise, that's done. And this is the whole collection there, so you guys can see. Looking great. So, guys, this is a special edition book, Bruce Wayne Fugitive. And uh, these special edition books, they're hard covers with a slip, uh, as you can kind of see. And we go to Bruce Wayne Fugitive. We go to the page so we can actually have a look and see what it is about. Uh, writer Ed Brubaker uh, has been an influential figure on the world of comics. When invited to contribute to Batman, he questioned it. Uh, so Bruce Wayne Fugitive is about two things. On one hand, the reader is intrigued to find out who framed Bruce. Um, this mystery, which in the past Batman would have cleared up in 20 pages, is now over a thousand pages. So it's a real huge kind of thing. Um, and it basically follows on from No Man's Land because Gotham's been rebuilt in itself after No Man's Land. Um, and Bruce Wayne had been among those who contributed to help it falling, uh, stop it falling into the hands of Lex Luthor. Um, but uh, Gotham seemed like a changed city. Um, it was still quite dangerous. You got Commissioner uh, James Gordon being shot, uh, although he survived there. And uh, you know Bruce Wayne needing a needing a bodyguard there as well. Uh, Sasha Bordeaux finding out that Bruce was Batman and he makes it a part of the team and uh, he's also been dating Vespa Fairchild um, but ditched her when she started becoming a you know trying to find out who Batman basically was so um, this is gonna have a very similar kind of style to the No Man's Land because obviously it's, it's chronologically um, it's not come that far afterwards once again always a good idea to check these kind of things to make sure there's no problems with the print uh, or anything like that there and uh, we check that there as well generally these Eagle Moss covers are uh, come out quite well um, and they do print them quite well there although from time to time you do get the odd issue and I have sent one uh, back that was in the DC graphic novel collection um, of the uh, of where they quite didn't work out correctly so um, the, the the quality of these is is absolutely fantastic and for any collector who actually is the type of collector like me who likes to read the books um it's a, it's an absolute must man i i just i just absolutely love them so this is like a uh, this is like a proper read this book right i mean you see how thick it is right um it's like you know if you actually like to read the comic books there rather than having them just sitting on your shelf and stuff um this is a this is quite a quite a good read there for you art style is fantastic and it's consistent throughout the entire book sometimes there you have these books they change their art style halfway through uh, it's very difficult for me to get into it but this has got a very similar art style kind of all the way through there um, and a consistency there to it which makes it which makes it interesting it does change very slightly um, towards the end but obviously this is part one and we'll be seeing what part two is about there as well now let's have a look and see 
Uh, obviously, the next book in the line is Bruce Wayne Fugitive. Now, um, let's go and put this up on the shelf and we'll have a look and see what that looks like. And here we have it in the shelf with the rest of the special edition books. Um, the DC Graphic Novel Collection special editions on the left hand side and obviously the more modern um, stuff, well not the more modern, the um, the more contemporary stuff there which is the uh, Dark Knight collection there in the middle obviously my other graphic novels on the side but you can see how that lines up now um, it'll be interesting to see how this kind of goes around because the Batman Adventures has a very different kind of style and I'm wondering how many of those books that they're gonna gonna bring out uh, anyway guys uh, let me know what you think of the new graphic novels there uh, in the collection um, are you collecting this collection what do you think about it leave your comments there down below and if you want me to cover the rest of these which I can do going all the way from Batman Eternal all the way across uh, I can do those there as well um, just have to figure out a decent way of doing it um, and we can also do the same for the DC Comics graphic novel collection there as well um, until then guys uh, let me know what you think and we'll see you again next time